Hello guys, in today's video we're gonna answer two questions. First of all, what is the current situation with German IT market as for end of June 2025? And the next one, when things will start to change? Let's begin. So, to describe the situation with German jobs market, I can show you a very simple graph. This is called BAX index. And this is official one, it's been published by Agentur für Arbeit every month and it allows us to track how much new positions have been opened during this month. So, you see, for today, in June 2025, we are staying on the same, exactly the same level as we had on 2015. It means that German economies grew sometime. You see the big increase in May 2025 or in June 18. But currently we are back to 2015. Likely it's not going down, but it stays like that for some time. And it means that the market is not growing. In this country, it's a developed country and new IT positions, they usually start to appear when the general economy is growing, new businesses are growing. So that's why this graph is very much relevant. Now let's come to the second question. And the second question, when situation will start to improve? First of all, let's start with the situation. And you know, Germany currently got the new government, which is led by Friedrich Merz. This guy is at least talking the right thing. So he is speaking about industrialization, investment into improvement of infrastructure and stuff like that. At least, as I said before, he doesn't look like a populist, but there is, again, always a big question between words and the real actions. They are preparing the new budget, which has to be adopted in 2025. Germany already understood that, uh, and luckily new government looks like they understood that Germany currently stagnating and it cannot develop without uh, big injections of money into economy. Where they want to take this money, they want to borrow them. And they want to invest this money into modernizing German infrastructure. It's not only about transportation, it's about digitalization, attracting startups and stuff like that. And all these things are being already reflected in the new budget that should be adopted in 2025. But so, um, okay, so let's go forward. So, and now we are coming when the things are supposed to start to change. First of all, this budget has to be adopted by German government. Currently, it is planned on the mid of September 2025. So let's see how this budget will be adopted. Because first of all, there can be changes. Some money can be cut. Another thing, we should see uh, how easy it will be adopted. Will it be some clashes or contradictions between parties? <laughs> So, yeah, there are some signs that there is no like clear unity between the coalition. So, let's see how this budget will go. If it will go without any problems, it's a good sign saying that probably those policies and those things will be, um, how do I say, set into reality with less problems. And so, the answer to the question in the beginning of this video, when things should start to change, I think it requires at least half a year after adoption of this budget, if it will be adopted as it is to see if something started to change. Because all those policies, all those money spendings, they need time to be allocated and used. What should we do during this time? First of all, we should monitor how startups are developing in Germany. Yes, there are already positive signs in Business Incentive Index. It started to rise from the beginning of the year. First of all, the rise of index doesn't mean that situation started to improve. It just means that people expect changes to better. But it doesn't mean that this automatically leads to the proportional increase of uh, new jobs positions in the IT. But usually startups are the first ones who are reacting to the thing. And as I said for myself, I'm getting more proposals to the interview to the startups which are opening in Germany. So what can we do right now? We can monitor resources which are actually have a lot of job positions in the startups. First of all, about well-found comps. So we can go there and see what positions are rising in Germany and what startups are opening. You can find a lot of insights there. So I would monitor this resource, see what is needed. And basically, probably these are the new positions which will be in high demand in Germany when this new budget, budget will be adopted and those money will be injected into economy. So again, answer to the question, some changes should come in spring 
2026. But if you disagree with my conclusions or the way how I came to these conclusions, welcome to the comments of this video. No, this is not clickbait. I am personally interested in your point of view on the situation because I am working in German IT and the situation directly affects my career and my career moves. And coming back again from where I am taking these questions, I very often get these questions on my mentoring sessions, which I am doing for free on EDP list. On those sessions, I help people to optimize their LinkedIn profile. I answer questions about German IT, how to find jobs here, what's the situation, and we are generally chatting about different things with people. So if you want to book 30 minute session with me, please go to EDP list. Another announcement from my site: if you are looking for a job in German fintech, I can recommend Scalable Capital, the company where I'm working right now on a senior software engineering position already for four years. We are expanding and we have hundreds of opportunities, not only in IT, but in many other spheres. Go to the pinned comment of this video. There is a link on career section. Check what we have there. And if you have the required skills, if you really have those skills, you can ping me on LinkedIn, my profile in the description of this channel, and I can answer your questions and provide you with referral link on this position, which will slightly increase your chances. But if you are not looking for a new job and you don't need any mentoring sessions, first of all, good for you. But you like the videos that I make, you can support my channel by buying me a coffee. And also you can find the link on the buying me a coffee in the pinned comment of this video. So thank you for watching to the end. And if you need more videos about German IT market, please watch one of the videos that you will see right now.